Hi everybody, it's only me. Thanks for coming back to D Diets. Today we're gonna do something in the kitchen, of course, of course. But I'm gonna make something that I'm sure you all have had before, but I'm gonna make it my version. I'm going to make stuffed cabbage. Now, I'll, you know Miss Lily, she needs attention. You know, <laughs> you know there are some people that actually call it blind pigeons. They do, they call stuffed pigeon, around here my girlfriend calls it blind pigeons. It's stuffed cabbage. And then some people call it halupki, which I had no idea when I moved to Pennsylvania what halupki was until someone said it's stuffed cabbage and I was like, oh okay. But I'm gonna do it more like an Italian stuffed cabbage. I'm gonna do something. Are you quite done? Oh my God, she almost got me right in the chin. So I figured I would try to make something that's more on the Italian side, because I think that would be a lot of fun. And I think it's going to have a different type of taste. I'm going to use chopped meat, but I'm also gonna use sausage. Yeah, I am. And instead of rice, I'm gonna use barley. I'm making some tweaks and some adjustments, and I'm going to use tomato sauce versus tomato soup, or V8. A lot of people use V8 juice, a lot of people use tomato, uh, tomato soup. I'm gonna try it my way and see how it comes out. I'm sure it'll be delicious. So let me know what's been going on on your end. Let me tell you what's been going on on my, it's been a little hectic here, I have to be honest, and here's Buddy. We all know our Buddy, right Buddy? Buddy got a haircut, he needed it, he really did. Um, oh, I wanted to ask anyone, has anybody seen this show on television called Married at First Sight? Has anyone seen it? Because I'm hooked. I am hooked on this show. And I'll tell you why I'm hooked. Because I think they should have 50 and 60 year olds and these matchmakers, these people that are the experts on finding a match, they should have people that either are widowed or divorced and they should have 50 and 60 year olds instead of 20s and 30 year olds because I think that would be hilarious. Just, I would try it. I would really mean it. I would love to see, I know Doug is still in the picture, but I would love to see who they would match me up with. I'm so serious when I say that. So I would love to know, has anybody seen the show? Have you seen it? Are you watching? I went on Hulu and they had a couple of seasons on there so I got a chance to watch those. And then I went on to Amazon Prime and they had, you know, free. And they had a couple of seasons on there to watch. I got so hooked on all these couples. It's hysterical, it really is hysterical. And if you don't know the premise of the show, you never meet this person, these experts set you up with them. And the only time you meet them is on the day of your wedding. Isn't that shocking? Isn't, does that shock anyone? And some of them have sex on their honeymoon. Some of them don't have sex. I respect the ones that don't have sex on their honeymoon because seriously this is a complete stranger and you're just gonna have sex with somebody you never even met in your life but to each his own to each his own I'd frighten a man right into another uh, another world like, no, I want so that wouldn't be something I'd be doing right away but it is such a good show and I so am hooked on that show I'm also hooked on the show alone I don't know if you've seen that either. It's when they drop like 10 people off in the wilderness by themselves and they have to have their own cameras attached to their heads and they have to video or document their whole entire life on an island and the last man standing uh, is gonna win $500,000. I also like the Naked and Afraid shows. I really, really do think I was a survivalist in my past life. I don't know if you believe, hello bud. There he is, the haircut, doesn't he look great? I think I was a survivor. Yes, mother was a survivalist in her past life, some kind of wilderness man, I'm assuming. I'm assuming I was a wilderness man in my past life. Oh, oh my God. Can you come here? Oh God, oh, she's, hello. It's like having something to lean on. You can't do that with Buddy. Anyway, so I'm like a little hooked on that show too, this Naked and Afraid stuff, because it, first of all, let me tell you something, again, again, they need to take fat people. <laughs> I mean it. I, I honestly, these people are in like in the best shape. They're going into the wilderness. They're they're naked. I mean, show me some real people. You know, show me a guy with a belly, a woman that has you know boobies that are not uh, perky anymore. Like, show me that. I'll be watching that program all the time. It was just, it is amazing to me what people do when they're just survivalists. But I really do believe in a past life. I was a survivalist. 
I don't know what I was, but I always seemed to like Alaskan bush people, um, uh, Alaska, the like the Last Frontier, all those shows. And I don't even know why I like them so much, but I'm drawn to them. I do like like the Beverly Hills Housewives and things like that, you know, that kind of stuff, like those shows. But I laugh at those women. I can't help it. I just do. I laugh because, you know, they break a nail. They're, they're, they're carrying on. It's the stupidest stuff that they, like, get themselves all worried over. This is ridiculous. This is ridiculous. Get out of the way. <laughs> Anyways, but I know we have to go into the kitchen. I'm five minutes in. I'm rambling. But I had to, like, just ask you guys if you watched... Uh, this Married at first, first Sight because it really is hysterically funny. I, I can't imagine doing that. I can't. But yet, I would love to know who those experts would match you up with. They need like some divorcees on there that had really bad marriages. <laughs> I mean, I would find it fascinating to be honest with you. Just to see who they would think would be perfect for you. I would volunteer just to see and I would. I would volunteer just to see when they open the doors and the man sees me standing there instead of some 20-year-old. Just to see what the expression on their face would be. <laughs> not that I'm putting myself down. I'm not. But I can't even imagine what the expression on somebody's face would be like. Really? Yeah. Here I am in all my glory. But let's go into the kitchen. Let's start this Italian stuffed cabbage. I'm sure it's going to be delicious. But only time will tell. Oh, don't tease in the kitchen. Let's go. So we're in the kitchen. I know, it's very exciting. Oh, I have these lights off. The kitchen is so bright. Anyway, I think it's going to be a lot of fun. I am going to, since I'm a one-woman show over here, I'm going to put, you won't see me. I'm just going to show you what I'm doing because I think it's going to be interesting. I've never made it before. But I will let you know, I used Thrive Life ground beef and Thrive Life sausage crumbles. And I soaked it, and this is what it looks like. Ground beef and so it doesn't look, this is fabulous. Hello. And then, instead of the rice, I made barley. Barley. Because I think it's healthier. I really do. And here's all the cabbage. Look at all the cabbage. It was a big cabbage. I went to the, um, look at this, look at that beautiful, isn't that beautiful? It looks like an octopus, doesn't it? My friend Michael would understand what I'm saying when it comes to octopus. And then I'm gonna use some Thrive Life tomato sauce, but I'm also going to use some diced tomatoes too in it. I think it'll be delicious. You know, pour it on top, get it all bubbly in the oven. So let's make this. And let's see, I'm, I'm not, I'm promising I'm not the best roller of cabbage in my entire life. But, you know, it just gives us an idea of how to do it. We're doing it together. Um, I boiled the cabbage, just so that you know, and I let it cool. And then I just took the leaves off of it. That's what I did. And as far as the chopped meat and the sausage crumble with Thrive Life, I just get it in the cans. I took a cup of sausage. I took a cup of ground beef. I let it soak. And that's simple. That's really simple. I didn't have to brown anything. It's been done for me. I didn't have to throw out all the excess grease and fat. That's done for me too. Which I like simple. I don't know about anybody else, but I like, I like it simple. Keep, what do they say? Keep it simple, stupid. <laughs> that's what I'm doing. You notice I got basil. And I am going to use a little fresh basil. Mmm. I love the smell of it. I'm going to crush it on top when I put it in the oven. Why not make it an Italian cap? I know it's a Polish dish, but you know what? We're changing it today. And it should be delicious. So let's get started. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take, now I used one cup of dry barley. One cup. And I think, I'm not even sure, but I'm going to show you how much one cup of dried barley, and just so that you know, one cup of dried barley is 400 calories. But I'm gonna just measure it out in here. That's one, that's two, and believe it or not, you're gonna get three cups of barley. But what I did is I'm only using two cups of barley. And then I'm gonna take my meat, just pour it right inside, 
I'm gonna mix it up. That's easy enough. And then Thrive Life has a seasoning that I really like. It's called Chef Blend Seasoning. It does have salt in it, just so that you know. So I'm going to put about, I would say a teaspoon of it in because it has such great seasoning in there and it already has the salt in it, which makes it easy for me. So I'm mixing it up. Here we go. Tell me this is not the simplest thing in the world to do. It really, really is. Okay, now I'm gonna take, and I wanna make sure you see this. I wanna make sure it's on camera because I can honestly tell you, I'm probably not gonna roll it up terrific, but I'm taking one of these. Can you, oh, you can see it, right? And I'm gonna take some of the mixture over here because again I have really never done this before I think you could cut off that little bit of a woody end which I'm gonna do you know I'm just gonna cut that off it's very soft but I'm just cutting that little piece off and then I'm just gonna roll it up maybe you maybe I'm gonna, roll <laughs> I'm gonna roll it up there we go rolling it up and I'm just gonna place it over here oh you know what I have to do I have to get it I have to get some hot water. Denise, why do you need hot water? Because I'm gonna use the Thrive Life tomato sauce. That's what I'm gonna use. So it calls for, just so that you guys know, a half a cup of, is it a half, I, I'm looking guys right now. I don't wanna tell you the wrong thing. Yep, take a half a cup, take a half a cup of, a half yeah a half a cup of tomato powder let me just take out the oxygen sensor a half a cup of tomato powder this has all the seasonings in it yes can you see it I want to bring it up close to the camera you see the parsley you see the garlic you see it all um, I hope it's you're seeing it it's this very simple I'm just gonna put it in a bigger pitcher and then taking two cups of hot water I'm gonna have to do it a little. <laughs> I'm mixing it up. I'm mixing it up. Let me just put this over here. And I'm just gonna do this. I'm gonna mix it up this way because it's gonna make it a lot easier. Oh, we left some stuff on the button. That's not a problem. I'll just take a fork and I'll put that in here. It's beautiful and it actually smells really good I have used this sauce before and there's a little bit of a thickening agent in here just so that you know Make sure I get it all there we go oh look at this homemade tomato sauce two cups of homemade tomato sauce how easy is that that's simple now I'm going to take let me just put this over here I'm going to take our pan See the pan? Okay. I lined it with tin foil, but that's just me. I'm sure you guys don't have to, but I did. And I'm gonna take a little of the tomato sauce and I'm gonna put it on the bottom so it doesn't stick. And then I'm going to take my cabbage and I'm gonna put my cabbage inside. I don't know if I rolled that that well. I'm gonna try it again. <laughs> you know, I make myself laugh in the kitchen, I'll be honest with you, I really do. So I'm gonna do it again. I'm just going to stuff the cabbage leaf. Oh, it looks really good. It really looks good. And if you haven't tried Thrive Life meats yet, you really should because honestly, I don't have to refrigerate it all. Oh, this came out, I think, better. This came out better. I'm gonna need more than one pan, I think. But you don't have to refrigerate the meat, the ham, Usually if you open it, you have to refrigerate it after two weeks, but the beef and the chicken, once you open them, they're good for a year. And of course they don't need refrigeration, so that makes life a lot easier. I've always said it, anybody that's a camper, a hunter, an RVer, they, they would love this stuff. And if you live alone, think about all the stuff we end up throwing out. You know, most of us, 
if you're if it's just two people living in a house, you know how much food we actually throw out every single day because we're not eating the same thing every single day. I'm just filling it as I talk to you guys. And of course I'm thinking about, you know, who my match would be. <laughs> I'm, I know, I can't get it out of my head. I cannot get that show out of my head. I find it fascinating. I really do. I really do find it fa I cannot, I'm terrible at rolling. I'm really terrible at rolling. But you know what? That is what it is. This is I'm a home chef. I'm not a professional. I didn't go to culinary school. I'm a home chef that's trying to tweak some dishes, not always to be the same, make it a little different. Oh my goodness. That looks delicious, really. It really does. You know, the cabbage sunk up the whole entire house. And I had to put the air conditioning back on. If I don't put the air on in the house, the dogs hear every noise that's going on outside if I'm filming a video and they start barking through the whole entire thing. And I'm hoping they don't hear anything right now. I want you to see how easy this is moving along. This really is moving along quite nicely. I'm gonna say, oh, look at this big one. That's big. Do you see all the filling though? There's so much filling. There really is. And I'm putting about two tablespoons or one tablespoon in at a time. Let's be real, cabbage is really good for you. And it's a great fiber, it really is. I just took out that little fibrous end. And I'm just gonna do it like this and tuck it and tuck it. Like I said, not an expert, but it all looks delicious to me. I'm trying to get a perfectly nice leaf, you know, as I'm demonstrating. <laughs> there we go. This is very nice. It really is very nice. Oh, let me take that woody end out. I don't know where the knife went. That's okay. Just throw it. Throw it this way, this way, this way. Putting them in the pan. Lovely, lovely. I'm sure my Polish friends right now are sitting out there going, what in the world is she doing? Well, I wanted to do something a little different. I really wanted to do something a little different. And I think it's gonna be delish. I really do. I think it's gonna be absolutely delicious. Okay, so I've stuffed them in. I'm gonna show that to you. Just wipe my hands, because I have so much left over. Okay, and as I've talked to you, that's what they look like. I'm gonna put some sauce over it. Yes, baby. I'm putting some sauce over it. I'm not putting all the sauce all over it because I can make another tray of these and I'm going to. Okay, so what I'm gonna do next is I opened a can of these diced tomatoes and I'm gonna sprinkle that on top of the stuffed cabbage. One can is more than enough, more than enough. Then I have some um, fresh basil. Of course, this is all optional. But I figured, what the heck, I was at the farm yesterday, and I'm just gonna tear it, you know? I don't, all that chiffonading and all that stuff that people do, I'm like, no. It's there for the, that delicious aroma and fragrance, and it'll just get into everything, and oh my goodness, that's gonna be fabulous. Fabulous. I think it's gonna be great. Look at me, I'm just using all the basil, I don't care. You know, you can pick it off at the end, what have you. You don't even have to use it if you don't want to, but tomatoes and basil, seriously, love it. Just love it. Okay, so just sprinkling it all on top. Oh, it looks like the Italian flag is fabulous. It's fabulous. Oh, it's true. Company's coming, a fork dropped to the floor. Let me put it in the sink. Didn't you ever hear that old expression, company's coming? Look how beautiful it is. Seriously, I want to just show you. Look at this. Hello. Tell me that is not stunning. That is stunning. That's beautiful. And you know what, guys? The calorie count is not high in this at all. Cabbage is not high in calorie. I didn't use a ton of anything with a lot of fat in it. Just stand back here for just a sec. I didn't have a lot of fat in there. Um, the rice would have been a little bit more fattening than the barley because when you think about it, a cup of barley, a cup
cup of dried barley is 400 calories. Out of that one cup, I got three cups of barley. So, and we didn't use the whole thing. We didn't use all the barley. So we used 200 calories of barley, which is not bad. And the sausage was only a cup, and the beef was only a cup, and look at all those stuffed uh, stuff we made. And I still have more in my dish, and I still have more uh, to wrap. But I'm gonna put tin foil over this. We're gonna bake it in the oven. In the meantime, while it's baking, I'm gonna make the rest of these and then we'll taste it when it's all done. I know, isn't it exciting? It really is, it really is. And I'm looking forward to trying it. That piece smells so good. All right, we're popping it in the oven. I'll be back. So it's out of the oven and now we're gonna unveil. It was in the oven, just so that you know, for 45 minutes at 350 degrees. This tin foil is a little hot. Oh, oh my gosh, look, this, do you see the steam? Oh my goodness, this looks wonderful. Oh my, oh my gosh, that smells so good. And just so that you know, I have another tray of them over here. I'm just gonna show it to you if I, I have another tray. Oh, it's hot, but here's another one, okay? Which is great. So I just want you to see how gorgeous this is. This is just gorgeous. Look at that. Look at the fresh basil. It has done its job. It has perfumed everything. It's perfumed the tomatoes and, oh, we have to try it. We must try it. Just so that you know, all of these were 1600 calories for everything. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. No, there's 16 in here. So between the two, they're 100 calories each. And have yourself a bowl, enjoy them. Ooh, that's hot. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Oh, my goodness. That looks just absolutely delicious. I'm gonna just cover them. I can't wait to taste it. Look at this. This is just one. Now you have to realize you could probably have two or three of these if you want, but because they're about a hundred calories each, that's nothing. That's nothing guys. Oh my gosh. It looks so good. I want a little of everything. So I'm going to just tear it open. Take a little of the meat, tomato, cabbage. Oh my goodness. <laughs> I forgot it was this hot. Mm -hmm. That is so good. Mm. I will say something about the Thrive Life beef and the Thrive Life sausage. This is not a greasy dish. If I was to use chopped meat that I had browned and sausages that I had browned, I think a lot of the fat would have still been in this dish. This tastes so good, so clean, like clean eating. Guys, it was good. It was simple to make. You could feed a lot of people. I mean, I can just imagine, you know, having a big salad with this and a vegetable on the side. And even if you wanted to have, say, a piece of bread or a piece of garlic bread with this, take two of these, have a piece of garlic bread, put some more veg on your plate. Unbelievably delicious. Mmm. That was really good. Like Italian stuff. And you can, the, the basil perfumed all the tomatoes and it got inside, I know, it's the accent, I'm sorry. It permeated into everything. Oh my gosh. It's so good, it was so simple, it was so easy. You guys can make it with ground beef if you don't have Thrive Life. But I will tell you, the Thrive Life was much easier to do and I didn't have to be, honestly, cooking anything. All I did was soak that beef and sausage, 
full of whatever it said on the can, which wasn't very long. And then I was able to just do this. How easy is that? Have a great day, guys. Enjoy. Oh, yeah, before I forget, because I would forget. It. There we go. This is the outtakes. Before I forget, <laughs> my link for Thrive Life is right underneath this video. So if you want to try some stuff, give it a whirl, give it a try. It is delicious. Have a great day, guys. And I'm going to eat the rest of this and have another one. Oh, so good. Bye-bye.